Hey guys, today we're going to be using the jotisserie to make a spit roast farm raised goose. Wow. So we have this beautiful farm raised goose and we're going to put it over this pan of boiling hot water. And it's just like with the Peking duck. You just want the boiling water to get everywhere on the skin and kind of lightly cook the skin. And this will help separate the fat that is attached to the skin to let go of the skin. And in the end, it will make it very much a crispy skin. And if you wanna have a little fun, take your goose and she's sitting in a jacuzzi. And now this is the point where you can make a decision to put it in a fridge and let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours to let the skin dry even further. But in my opinion, you don't need to do that because we're gonna spit roast this goose. So actually the skin is gonna be pretty dry really soon. Now the goose is completely dried up. We're gonna take off the wings because the wings will just burn on the spit. So we're, we're looking for that joint and we're gonna take it off at the joint. That's one, this is two and you can use these of course to make a poultry stock. So now it's time to actually put this nice goose on a spit. And I already determined my center point. I placed the spit on the grill and put the end stop where I wanted it to be. So I put this in at the head point. Make sure the pins get a firm grip. Now I put the other stop in, twist it, secure it. Now the last thing that I want to do is take a string of butcher's twine and tie up these legs. And don't worry about how you do this, just as long as they are secured and are not flopping around. Now, let's put it on the grill. So now that we place the goose on the grill, on the spit, there's a special way to set this up. Because what I see happening is that a lot of people, they grill their meat direct over fire. What happens, the fat renders down, the grease actually falls into the charcoal and comes back up. Normally, a little bit of that wouldn't matter, but if you have a lot of grease going on, like in this goose, you would have a real problem because you would get a lot of flavor from smoked and burnt fat. So with a pig or with a goose, you want to stay away from that. So the first thing that we're doing right now is starting up with a small and low fire. I got a few charcoals on one side and a few charcoals on the other side and a dripping tray in the center so that the charcoal won't go underneath and the greases and the, the moisture of the goose is actually falling into the dripping pan. If the skin is completely dried up, the goose is heated up a little bit, we're going to slowly raise up the temperature and start working on that skin. So we're still getting a lot of smoke from the greases and um, I'm a bit worried we might catch fire. So I'm adding a little bit of water to our pan. Be careful, there's already grease in there. So now the grease will not start burning anymore, will not create any more flames because you can already see the skin of the goose is already starting to turn a little bit dark and that's the most that we want to have it. If you want you can add these small chunks of wood which will give you that wood fire experience while roasting this beautiful goose. We've been roasting this goose for around an hour or so. And I want to now check on the temperature, see how far along it is. I do not want to puncture the skin more than necessary. So we'll go into the breast right here, 58 degrees Celsius. So this is the time where we'll start working on the outside. We'll apply a little bit more heat just to make sure that the outside crispens off enough. So we'll add another log on this side, on the far side as well to get two fires going on both sides and the heat kind of like goes around the goose and crispens it up. Make sure you keep cleaning that skin. It's beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. Now our goose is almost done. Look at the beautiful color of the skin. We want to get the thermometer in here under the breast, yeah, almost there. Just a few more degrees. So what we're going to do now is 
take some salt and get that on the outside of the skin. It's just, just for flavor because the, the greases are now getting out, the skin is getting really crispy. But we definitely want some salt on there to make that a really tasty skin. Now I do want to give off a little warning. The amount of fat that comes off a goose and renders down into the dripping tray is tremendous. So what happens is it accumulates in there and you got a hot fire going, you're basically creating like a bomb. So you want to make sure that you keep your water levels up. And when there's too much fat in there, just go in there with a spoon, take it out, one of those large soup spoons that you might know. Because what you want to prevent is that oil catching fire, because if that oil catches fire, you have a problem. The only option that you have is closing the lid and let the whole thing burn down. But we're good, we're good. Just a warning. So the goose is done, so let's get her off the grill. Get off these pins. Now before we're going to start and carve into this beautiful bird, we're gonna first let it rest. Take some tin foil. There we go. Now we'll let it rest for a good 20 minutes. This beautiful bird has been resting for 20 minutes. Look, she's still steaming hot. Beautiful crispy skin. That is beautiful. That is truly a delicious goose. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love it so much to spit roast and to have this open fire and be working with to get the perfect end result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. See you on the next one. Give me a big thumbs up. Cheers.